All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, I want to show you guys two diagram illustration of ICT Power of Theory, okay? This one is the first one right here, okay? This is the daily time frame. This is the lower time frame. This is first illustration. Then the second one is this one right here, okay? This is daily time frame. This is lower time frame. Now, these two things you are seeing here, of course, this is the first one. Then this is the second one. Now, these two things was one of my biggest challenge as an ICT trader. Let me explain why it was a challenge to me, okay? Of course, this is how Power of Theory operates if you're an ICT trader, okay? This is the daily time frame. Price will open here, okay? Starting from Asia session. Then it will trade lower, okay? To form the low of the day, which is this one right here, all right? Of course, everything here is the lower time frame of this daily time frame you are seeing here. Then it will expand to the upside to form the rest of the day, which is all this one you are seeing here. Now, this is the typical as the power of theory that everyone is used to. This format right here, price open, trade lower, then expand to the upside. Of course, this is what ICT taught on this mentorship, and this is what most people are used to. Now, this is the challenge right here. Most time, price is not going to open and then trade lower to form the low of the day. No, they are going to give you this profile. They will open immediately as they are opening. They are started firing to the upside if it's a bullish day, okay? So you are not going to have the low of the day. And most times, this is where our entry is, okay? This is London session. This is low of the day. This is where the, the, our entry is. Unless you want to trade New York session, all right? Now, this was my first challenge, okay? Because every time I am bullish in the market, I was waiting for price to come lower before I can look for my entry. I wasn't getting it. Then the most difficult one is this one right here. This daily profile. This one is a bullish day. Our bias for the day was bullish. Then, of course, you know, as an ICT trader operating with power of theory, price, we need to seek the Asia low, just like that first illustration I showed you guys here, just like this one, all right? This illustration, price needs to come lower from the low of the day, then expand for the rest of the day, okay? So if you are bullish in the market, then after the trade lower, okay, like this to form the low of the day, then they started moving to the upside. You, then you'll be thinking, all right, it's time for us to move to the upside. Of course, price are printed low of the day. Then they give you false hope and then come back, take out this Asia high, then drop for the rest of the day. This was a very big problem to me, guys. And that's why I'm creating this video because I want to show you guys how I was able to conquer all these challenges. I'm still going to show you guys how to know if price is going to form the low of the day, like this type of profile before expanding to the upside or if it's going to keep pushing to the upside continuously without even forming the low of the day. Because most times, some people will be still be waiting. Why is it pushing to the upside? They will be thinking that a time will come whereby it will come to, to trade below the Asia range, and then they don't get entry for that day. All right, guys. So this is what I do every day before I engage my entry in the market, and most especially during the London session, and sometimes even the New York session as well. Okay? So take a look at this illustration I have right here. This is my London key zone from this place to this place. It's my London key zone. If you don't know how to identify London key zone, it's usually from 7 a.m. UK time to 10 a.m. UK time, all right? Or from 1 a.m. New York time off to 5 a.m. New York time. That is the London key zone, the place we want to place our trade every day, all right? Now, prior to this London key zone, there is something you guys need to do. This is what I do every day. I don't use one hour time frame, 30 minutes time frame, 15 minutes time frame. What I do is make sure my chart is permanently on five minutes time frame every blessed day. Now on that five minutes time frame, what I usually do is I monitor the price action. Okay. You can see this, this is a price action on lower time frame. I monitor the price action on five minutes time frame prior to the time I want to execute my trade. Now, this is how it is done. If your bias is bullish, okay? If your bias is bullish, and you see this bullish order flow taking place on five minutes time frame, like price keep taking us the previous highs, like this, keep pushing to the upside, like this is a bullish market structure, all right? You just have to understand that there will never be ICT power of theory that day, like this type of profile, okay? You are not going to see it because this is what price is giving you on lower time frame. The market is pushing higher, pushing higher, pushing higher. And with this kind of data, with this kind of price action, that is going to confirm that this is what you are going to see. Something like this, something like this. Now, the question is, how do we engage this kind of profile? I'm going to show you guys how to engage it. Of course, I'm going to show you guys examples, all right? But I want us to, first of all, break down everything for your understanding, okay? Because I want, at the end of this video, any day you want to trade in the market, I want you to stay balanced, irrespective of the profile the market is giving you, okay? So if we have this kind of move on lower time frame, all right? Price keep taking high, all this high. 
we are going to get that second profile. But if this thing is inverted to the dance side, let me show you guys example, okay? Prior to this London execution period, then you are having a move like this. This is what I even encourage most of my mentorship students to engage on if they want to trade London session, all right? This is what, this is the best ICT trading profile, okay? This is the best. You are having this movement on lower time frame, okay? Price keep pushing lower in form of, form of bearish market structure. Then this is a clear sign, a clear indication that, okay, you are definitely going to have ICT power of trading like this kind of profile right here. Price to come back, take out a shallow or whatever, okay? Then before pushing to the upside, okay? How do we avoid this kind of trap in the market? whereby price take out a shallow, of course, like that one I showed you guys right now. And at the end, still end up going lower, even though our bias was bullish. This is how I do it. Before I take trade during the London T-Zone every day in the market, I need to wait for one thing, guys. And that's the secret I want to give you guys in this video, all right? If you practice this thing I want to give you guys in this video, you are going to see a new shift, like a, a dramatic shift in your trade entry, like your, your win rate and all that, okay? This is what I do. I wait for the first market structure break inside of this key zone every day like this. Very, very important. So if I have a profile like this, whereby price kept coming to the downside before the London key zone, and then there's no market structure break. Let me show you guys, because what some people will see this one as a market structure break to the upside. No, all this move going higher, going higher are on the time frame that is lower than this. This is not five minutes time frame. All right. So as a smart money trader, you must wait for this first indication in the morning and inside this key zone of the market. The key zone is showing the hot moment of the market. So the moment I see this break, irrespective of the pair I want to trade, this is my entry. This is why I know that, okay, we are ready to move to the upside. Because if I don't wait for this break like this, if I, let's assume I don't wait for this break to the upside inside this key zone, all right? This is what I'm going to get at the end of the day. Price will come back, give me false movement, false hope, like they want to keep going to the upside, all right? And then zoom, zoom, zoom. Then it will end up being a bearish day. Now, just imagine you jump on the move here. You jump on the buy here because it's just non key zone. That's why most people have problem in the market. They just wait for non key zone. They jump on the buy because they are bullish. They just wait for non key zone. Jump on the sell because they are bearish. It's not done that way. Price must give you indication that, okay, this is your bullish bias. I'm showing you guys what the secret I taught my mentorship student. That's what I'm giving you guys right here. So price may give you indication that, okay, since you are bullish for the day, this is what you need to see a fresh market structure break inside this key zone for you guys to start engaging on your bias if you don't see it there's nothing i'm going to do in the market that day that's going to work out for you let me show you guys some of the examples okay so what i'm going to do now i'm going to play this chart we'll do an example for this first one then we'll do an example for this one and then we are going to also do an example for this last one to show you guys how to avoid this trap just like this one i just showed you right now so i will play this chart right now okay Bring, bring back my chat, okay? So let's take a look at this current day price action because I'm recording this video the first day, the first trading day of the, of the week, all right? So if you don't have this indicator, all right, on your chart, please make sure you activate this indicator on your chart. It's right here, ICTKZ bosses. It will show you your London key zone and your New York session and your New York key zone. I, I can't do the example right here because the non key zone has not even started, all right? But there's something we can do. We can read the price action on before the non key zone gets started, okay? Okay, it's just, it's just even starting right now. We can read read the price action. So right now, I'm on five minutes time frame, what is the other flow on this five minutes time frame? Let me make it bigger. Okay, let me zoom out for you guys to see it. What is the other flow on this five minutes time frame? Of course, this is bullish like this like this, like this, even though it appears it's ranging, all right? Even though it appears it's ranging, this is bullish, like this. Let me make it black. This is bullish because price have not left this range, okay, from, from Friday price action. So at this point, this is bullish. Now, what is the bias? Let's take a look at the bias, all right? Okay, for this day, let's take a look at the bias for this day. Let's see. Okay, of course, it's bullish, I swear bullish for the day all right so let's go back to what we have here now we have now we have a bullish bias 
and the price action lower time frame is bullish. You know what some people is going to be, will be waiting for? Because it's a bullish bias, of course, I see the power of three. They are so used to I see the power of three. They want they are waiting for price to come back to take out a shallow. You know, everybody's used to that format. Price will come back, take out a shallow, you know, like this, like this, before they start looking for a buy. Meanwhile, there's no indication here that price is going to come down. Now, before I finish recording this uh this video for you guys, I'm sure price is going to come and take out this high right here because it's bullish. So this is what you do. In as much this thing is has shown a bullish indication on this lower time frame, you don't you shouldn't be expecting as the power of three again, like price to come back, take out a shallow, all those all those stuff. No, 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 no. You just wait for price to go above the, you know, go above the most recent high that was created before this in the uh, session key zone. Now, because this day is not completed, I want to use another day to give you guys example. Okay, this day was a bullish day. All right. Um, Friday last week was a bullish day. So let's take a look at the other flow before the key zone. The other flow started from here to here to here, and then there was a break here. And then keep going, keep going. Oh, I don't know why this is. Okay, let me just continue. All right, and then kept going like that, like that, like that. Now it has turned to bearish at this point. Bearish, 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 bearish. Now this kind of day, you can expect ICT do that swing power of theory to take place right here. You can expect it because it was bearish before the key zone. And then you see what happened here. It came back, boom. All right, with this candle here. And then, now this is the break in market structure I was telling you guys. The moment this thing break, all I just need is a rebalance just like this. Fire to the upside. If you miss this one, you, won't, you are not going to miss this one here. Okay? Move to the upside. And then you just keep making money every day in the market. Just keep making money. And I believe this video has helped you guys, you know, clear all those, all those confusion regarding to that swing, power of three, this and that. All you just need is to read the other flow on lower time frame, and then you engage on your move every day, every day, guys. It's not going to stop. Never. It's never going to stop, guys. So if you like, if you know this video has been helpful to you, please make sure you like this video. If you are new here, please make sure you subscribe because you can't be missing all this kind of quality premium content we are taking to you guys right here on YouTube. So I expect you to subscribe and turn up your notification buttons. I will see you guys on next upload. Peace.